Example 3. Here we're going to determine whether x minus 4, whether it is a factor of the given polynomial function. So recall, it would be a factor if the number you plug in, you get a 0 out. So first, let's find out what number we're going to plug in. To do that, when it's given in linear factor form, to find the value, simply solve for x. So to set this equal to 0 and solve for x, we would need to add 4, which means x equals 4. Using the plug-in method, you can plug in a 4 everywhere you see an x. Do the math and see if you get a 0 out. We're going to use the synthetic division method, which means we're going to have a 4 on the outside of the division symbol. And then underneath, we need to check to make sure we're not missing any degrees. It looks like we're good, degree 2, degree 1, and our constant. So let's go ahead and bring those numbers under the division symbol. And we're going to start the process by bringing down the first term. Multiply that 4 with 4 to get 16. Bring down 18. Multiply that with 4 to get 72. And adding those two numbers, we get 126. The fact that we did not get a 0 out, that means that 4 is not a zero of this polynomial function and it also means that x minus 4 is not a factor of this polynomial function.